morning. Oh. What's wrong with you? Where did you get that? Sam gave it to me. My dad wanted me to have it. You're not going to wear it. Why not? Too big for you. I don't mind. Take it off. Why? You look ridiculous. It's a fashion. What's eating you? Shouldn't you be off? I thought well, I was off. Last night you said you were going back to London. Change my mind, I'm still not. All right. And what are you going to live on? You can't live off me. I don't intend to live off you. I'll get a job. Just like that? Jobs aren't that easy to find around here. Look. You and me have been getting on awfully well just to late now. Let's not spoil it now, eh? Just can't you see you getting a job? I'll get a job. Right. But you'll know. It's to do with this coat, isn't it? Something to do with this overcoat. What is it about me and this bloody overcoat? It was his. It reminds me of him. All the dreadful times I had when he was wearing it. Best goalie. Perry Gilbert Walker. Perry, Sam. Sam. You picked up a friend of yours, Ponty Dentist friend. Y yes, Ponty. yes. Um. When? Well, it's a bit short notice. Next week. Well, tomorrow. Good game, Tony. Tr Chrissy, I, I uh, no hard feelings, eh? I well, there would have been if you'd lost. I bet we won. Five one. Five one. Aye. Who blew it? Oh, Tony, I might have known. No wonder you're a second leg player. You're lucky to be that if you can't win a game against a third league side of redundant garment workers. Oh, it's in here, Chrissy. It just isn't in here. Oh, come on, Tony. Don't give me the old emotional Italian crap. Where's the flair? The brilliance? Just then it was Sam. Oh, dear me, Sam. So, what are you buying? This. I'm getting a job. A job? Yes, a job. You're very sure about it. Well, of course. It's here. Here. And here. Presentation, Tony. Anyway, what are you doing here? Trying to get off with the assistant? No, actually. Buying clothes. Where? Here, I'm wearing them. Oh, for God's sake, Tony. Well, I hope you haven't paid for them yet. Well, I mean, they're exactly the same as you always wear. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, at least I can see your flare now, at the bottom of your trouser leg. You mean, are you trying to say you don't like them? Like them? Tony, I've never liked them. You dress like you play, terrible. It's cruel, but it's true. I mean, look at Perry, a well-turned-out first-leg player. He even irons his player shirts. Oh, he does not. And anyway, he's no much better than me. True. Yes, he looks good. What about Mo, then? An exception. Excuse me, Tony.
Sí. Presentation. Chrissy. The gas is about to be cut off. We're six weeks behind in the rent money. The cap at all, the brothers are back. The June's brothers? Yeah. They reckon I'm not treating their sister with respect. Aye, well, they might have a point, though. Look, I can't they're out to kill me this time. Chrissy, what's the chances of buying us a hamburger or a gin? Ah, oh, why not? I've got a job. A job? Aye, temp typing. Then you can't could type, Chrissy. What about different training techniques, Neil? Uh, Chrissy, would it be possible to follow up my hamburger and chips with a knickerbocker glory? Fresh coffee. A drink. Coffee? Oh, Sam phoned. I said you'd ring him right back. Are you all right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is it? A good day at the office, that's all. I had sight of a very interesting letter. Lifted the cloud from the day. <laughs> oh, I promised Sam that you would phone him back straight away. Now go on. Hello. Hello, Sam. Oh, what's wrong with your wife? She was almost pleasant. Picked up that here. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, St. Botolph's School of Dentistry. Brilliant, man. Just one condition, though. What? I've got to be captain. What? Oh, come on. Just for the night. All right. A good job, Oh, great. Um, I'll hire a minibus, hmm? Right. Okay, Sam. Mm hmm That's all agreed, then. Bye. Are you up, eh? Another game of Sabutio? Um, yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Enjoy it. Shot at me or something? No. No, of course not. It's just. Well, well it's the space like. I mean, there's, there's not enough space. There's plenty of space. Ah, I'm running now. But what if I met someone like another man or something? What if we wanted to get married and, and come and live here now? There, there wouldn't be enough space in, would there? What are you trying to tell me, Mother? 
I'm getting married. This is Dennis. Hello, Dennis. Hello. All right. I'm not bad. Dennis, are you going to get some drinks sent out? Whatever you like. And I'll have a whiskey. Kisses. Great. What's that boxer? No, he's not very big, is he? It's a lightweight. Paperweight more than that. Mo. Hey, Mo, come here. Where have you been, man? Ah, well, listen, we've got a friend waiting in Edinburgh with his dentist boys at the end of the day. Won't you there? Ah, oh, Kez, I'll bring that more yet. Here we are, then. And here's your change, Alice. Yes. Okay. So, what are you doing now, Dennis? Doing? For a living. Oh! Well, maybe I'll come back. What, you mean as a boxer? Mm -hmm. He's been offered a big fight against Charlie Wild Blue Hawkins in the 70s. Oh, don't worry, it's not licensed. What do you mean they don't sell beer? No. He doesn't have to pass a medical. I tell her how much you're getting, Dennis. I tell her how much you're getting for the fight. Ninety pounds. Ninety pounds for a six rounder. It's not bad, eh? Oh, aye, sir. And if he wins. Him and Big Bob have been promised more fights. Big Bob? Aye, Big Bob's his trainer. Big Bob? You'd better start running again tomorrow, Dennis, eh? Get into shape for a big fight, eh? Excuse me. friendly with him all the night. No, I meant the brothers. Oh, I'm staying at Big Bob's. And, uh, where's the friendly? Edinburgh. Dentist. Shouldn't concern you, Mrs. I'm concerned about me. What is it now, Mo? Nothing, Sam. I didn't want to bother you. It's no problem. I'm handling it. Good for you. Well, I better be getting back to my mother and, uh, Nancy. Do. I don't know. Look, do you want do you want me to speak to Sam? No. Not yet. I mean it's difficult. But they are through to the next round in the cup. <laughs> oh, I might have known. Everything comes after Sabutio. It's like deja vu. No matter what man I'm with, I'm always playing second best to Bloody Sabutio. Oh, is it not? Billy Buchan was the same. Can't see you tonight, Hen. I'm training. Your birthday. Oh, I'd love to celebrate your birthday. But it's the cup. I never thought I'd feel inferior to a bunch of classic footballers on a pygmy-sized pitch. I don't feel guilty. I don't feel ashamed. I thought I would, but I don't. Teresa, you're not just doing this in the rebound, are you? I mean, because you've been buried. What do you think? Good morning. Good morning. 
morning, Sam. Oh, Enjoy your night off, did you? What? You went to the pictures, any good? All right, I'm fine. You just go on your own. Sam, there's something I want to explain. It's about me and Bell. What the hell would you look at this? Rubber stamped. As far as they're concerned, it's over. Well, it is not. Sam Montgomery isn't going to stand down in this. What is it, Sam? It's for bloody council. I like some Macintosh and that stuck-up Mrs. Perry's. The clubhouse up for sale with a view to extensive redevelopment. They want to knock it down. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. I know people and people know me. Mm. The day of the world in the year is not far. That's very good, Willie. Very expressive. There's a lot of anger and aggression. A sense of outrage. Bitterness, even. That's supposed to be a picture of my budgie. Is your budgie bitter and twisted at all, Willie? Only when you let him out and he craps on your head. That's a very good likeness, Gladys. I've got to go out for a wee while. I won't be long. Just carry on with what you're doing. Gladys, perhaps you'd like to be in charge while I'm away. Anything for you, son. Aye, right. Come from a scrub. Okay. What are you close for? What's he Thanks for looking after them again for me, Gladys. I take it they were no trouble. It was a pleasure, son. Anything for you. I'd like to see you in my office, Mr. McAvenny. This isn't the first time you've been absent during the working day, is it? I can explain. Leaving your elder citizens to fend for themselves. Only went out for five minutes. Five minutes? They're all fast asleep. Did they all fall asleep in five minutes? I was meant to be five minutes, but I got relayed. Oh, aye. What if there had been a fire, eh? They're not feeble geriatrics. They're quite capable of looking after themselves. Oh, I see. In that case, what are we doing paying you a salary? It was personal. Look, I am not interested in excuses. Now, if this situation should arise again, I will have no alternative but to inform the board of your conduct. Now, do I make myself clear, Mr. McAvenny? How much longer are we going to be here? Well, I am taking notes for Dennis's training routine. Is he no a boxer? Aye, and a reasonable one in his day. With the brothers being back, I'm in the market for a minder. Well, my dentist costs 90 quid a fight, win or lose. Yeah, forget it. But 90 quid, I wouldn't be in this trouble. I can see you later. Come in. Councillor McIntosh. Mr. Montgomery, I'm afraid I'm rather busy at the moment. I'll come straight to the point. It's about the, the old community hall. Ah, yes, well, uh, you will have received a letter. 
Aye, but I'm here to see you man to man. Yeah, well, the letter quite clearly states the procedure. Your stuff procedure. What I've got to say can't be put on paper. You see, I've got plans, far-reaching plans. It's no more than a wooden hut. Mm, it serves a useful purpose to the community. And it's also the clubhouse for Real Falkirk. Ah, oh, Real Falkirk. I know all about them due to the continued absence of Mr. McAvenny. In the service of the community, Councillor. His pupils are our greatest fans. <laughs> You see, if it's sold to big business, it'll be knocked to the ground. It'll be turned into a multi-storey car park or a shopping arcade. Now, I want to keep it for table football, social amenities, and, of course, the Boy Scouts. Yes, well, unfortunately, Mr Montgomery, table football and the Boy Scouts mean very little to the economy. Investment means employment. We must look to the future. Well, the future, that's what I came about. The clubhouse's future. My future, your future. Mr. Montgomery, put your proposal in writing and I will forward it to the planning subcommittee. <laughs> of which you're chairman. Of which I am chairman. And just one other thing. I think you'll find if we do get it that you won't go short of amenities yourself. Do you get my drift? Where's Mo? And Tony? I'm telling you, man, listen, I went to Tony's for my trim. Well, it's not very good. Not Tony's usual standard at all. He was shut. I didn't let him touch it. He's redecorating. You should see the place. I don't want him redesigning my hair. He's opening a lady's saloon at the back. A salon. And there's talk of a stylist. Aha, no stopping me, eh, man? No, Sam, no. Listen, there's something I should tell you. Maybe. Not at the moment. I'm concentrating on my penalty shooting. Uh, it's important, Sam, I think. Yeah, well, I've got something important to say as well, Bern, when everybody's here. Oh. So save yours till then as well, eh? Ah, come on, Mo. Come on. Here. Put this on. What is it? It's a tie. A tie? Ah, oh, come, you're wearing a tie. Put it on. You look an absolute wreck. I haven't even him. We've got to look smart. They'll be smart. I just don't want you letting us down. But it's a bit late for that. Well, you see, Tony, passed him in the way. Looks like Pinocchio on wheels. They're doing well, Sam. Eh, uh, can I have a word? Get in the queue, Mo. Vern's first. Come in, come in and love you so. Buongiorno. Sorry I'm late. I had a bit of troubles with my gears. And I thought this would be more beneficial than a training session. To mark the occasion of Perry's return to his old college, I have decided to make him captain. I've uh, drawn up the playing order myself. As for the other matter, I'll only touch on briefly as we're getting late. As some of you may have heard, this clubhouse was under threat of sale and demolition. I've had a word, and I have succeeded in convincing the uh, powers that be that it should remain the home of Real Falkirk Table Football Club. No worries on that score. <clears throat> in honor of both of tonight's events, I am supplying the beer. <laughs> what are you doing here? came to give you support. We don't need support. They're only amateurs. It'll be a doddle. Perry was their best player. Well, I think I'll come anyway. Well, you can't travel in the minibus. Only the team can travel in the minibus. And I want you to stay away from him. Look at what you've done to Tony. Chrissy, what do you think? This is all you're doing. Oh. It's very different, Tony. It's bellissimo, Chrissy. I feel different. Better. More uh, in control. You know what I mean? Mm. Tell you what, I'll give you a race. The last one there's a sissy. To Edinburgh? Aye. It's 30 miles, man. 30 miles is nothing to an Italian. Not 
Tony has me arrived yet. Is there a man short? He'll be here. Ah, but what do you see? He'll be here. Is this your team, Paddy? That's right, Duncan. Hmm. Well, we're all set then. Campione! Campione! Foam, foam. Handball? I didn't see no handball. What's the bloody ball with his finger? Accidentally. Play on. in the shooting area when he scored. Overruled. One nil to the probes. That man kicked the ball four times. I just want to kick it three times. Four times! That's it. Yellow card. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I told you they were good. Good? The dirtiest bloody team I've ever seen. Come on, come on, man. You've only got a week to shape up. We'll speed up the pace tomorrow when I get that new bike. Now you carry on down to the lock gate and then come back here. I'll go and get the refreshments. All right, yeah. <laughs> five one. A bloody five one defeat. Were those boys good or what? Uh, Shut up. It was only a friendly. Exactly. We should have murdered them. The rest were bent, Sam. They bought them off. Aye. I saw one of them loading a crate of wine out of his boot. That is not the point. The point is we should have scooshed them. Well, at least more one. Aye, more one. Where have you been? You look like you've spent the night in a donkey's brothel. And as for you, you eye-tied tosspot. Don't be too hard on Tony, Sam. You weren't exactly dynamite yourself. Let's face it. None of us were ready. We didn't take it seriously enough. This will be it. Real Falkirk HQ, Sam Montgomery, manager speaking. The 18. At home. We're playing at home. Jarrow and Hebern Dynamos. <clears throat> Thanks very much. Jarrow and Hebern. Dynamos. Tough draw. What's the score, Diggy? There's a good side. They're all good. But they've got a couple of legends. Harry Milburn, old guy. Been around for years, knows every trick in the book. Roderick Ferris, otherwise known as the Boiler. Deceptive reach, no gut in him. Uses his midfield. Dangerous, incredibly fast, can score from any angle. But there's no reason why we can't beat them. We're going to train. We're going to train like we've never trained before. We're going to go running every morning. We're going to do press-ups, sit-ups, knee bends. We're going to take our men out and let them breathe. We're going to polish their bases and treat them like stars. We're going to have three training sessions a week. And if anyone misses, they're out. I say that. Doogie will issue a schedule. Tell them how useless they were, sir. Oh. Who have you drawn next, Ben? Jarrow and Hebber and Dynamos. Can I have a tomato juice, Teresa? I'm in three. Dynamos, eh? Right. If that's all, are you drinking or leaving? I wanted to ask you about the clubhouse. Well, concerning yours, Mrs. I've dealt with it. Look, I thought you might need some help. I can tell you. No, thanks. Excuse me? I have got things to do. What's he up to with that clubhouse, Ben? He's trying to save it, Chrissy. The team and the people at Falkirk. Try for himself, more like. Then he'll own the whole shooting match. I mean, he already got everything else in my dad's will. Did you speak to him, Ben? 
or not yet, uh, any chance of kicking your boat the night No, I don't think so, Mo. Leave it close to the water, isn't it, Morris? I'm a desperate man, Teresa. Oh, let's see it, Big Bob, then. Not that desperate. Sam about. Upstairs. Sam! That's Doogie! <laughs> Teresa, I don't know if it's any of my business, but I know. Know what? About you and them. That's what we used to gather the other night. Teresa, what are people going to say? Billy's hardly been dead five minutes. You're right, Doogie. It is none of your business. What is it? It's Tony. He says an accident. He fell off his bike. It's nothing serious, but there's no way he can play tomorrow night. Oh, Christ. How the hell did that happen? I think he hit a boxer. Shame, Chrissy. You've been training real hard. Sure, Dennis. <sighs> Look at him. What happened? It was that stupid hairdresser. He was on the wrong side of the road. Bloody Italian drivers. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, Can I have my tea, Agnes? Just one thing, you're a man. The no women rule still applies. As far as the team's concerned, you're a man. Right. Thanks a lot. I'll piss in the gents in future. You think it's wise putting Chrissy at the back? It's her first game. Evening, lads. Ready for a kick in? Put off, Belford. You're supposed to be impartial. Out. No way. Your big news, Sam. Subutio history. Centre page spread. What the hell have you come at? What's it to you, lumpkeed? Chrissy, I'm looking for pictures. This is a big store. Real Falkirk plays a woman. You're supposed to be putting glamour into Subutio scene. I'm not a woman. I'm a man. Hey? I'm a man. Isn't that right, Sam? Aye. Harry Melbourne? Aye. Doogie Kemp. 
I've been a fan of yours for long, Rob. Long enjoyed your game. Wish I could say the same about you, but you have. You must be Roderick Ferris. You can call me Boiler. Okay, Boiler. Welcome to the real folk at Clubfoot. Ah, oh, man, how we could help the crap man, Ken. We are here for a killing. Total annihilation. Have you ever thought of having those looked at at all? in a long time more. This is my first cup game. Ah, then you worry, Chrissy. Spirits are with you. Well, this was no accident. You get your rightful place in the team. Do you really believe on that stuff? Mm. Aye. Anyway, it'll all be wrapped up by your tongue. We're in a winning position, you can. <laughs> Tactics. That's why I'm on fifth, taking on the boiler. Well, I'd rather you than me, eh? I'm fulfilling my obligation as a public servant. My civic duty? Mm, like knocking down this wee hut. There are other councillors on the committee, you know. Thank God for that. Can you take me home now, please? Of course. Your little ploy with Martin, Mr. McIntosh, has not gone unnoticed. Offside, I believe, is the official term. I happen to know a big property developer is interested in this site. You're reduced to the size of one of your own wee plastic men beside him, Mr. Montgomery. So, should you win tonight, enjoy your victory. Could be your last. But I'm tell Perry to be straight home. Man, he did one, but Mo's injured. Injured? Well, he hasn't he played yet. What's the matter with you? Oh, he'll be all right. I was talking to him. Mo? She hit me, Sam. Front of my wings. Ah, well, you've still got the boiler to beat. You've got Harry Milburn. Doogie, how are we doing? Two games to one. Sam's winning. Wish me luck, Chrissy. I'll need it.
Okay, Charlie. The blethering is over. It's time to do the business. Now, Charlie, are you going to play for me or no? Right, Mrs. You're on. How's Mo doing? He's losing. You've got to win. We can't afford a penalty shootout if we draw. No way more in the state he's in. Come on. Give us a C. C. Give us an H. H. Give us an R. R. Give us an I. I. Give us an S. S. Give us an S. S. Give us an I. I. Give us an E. E. What's that spell? Brilliant. We should keep them in a sterilizer. You see, never bring yourself down to your opponent's level. You allowed him to get to you. I won't know. You didn't. Mm. to the next win! And are you going to celebrate? 
Doogie says, you play like your dad. 